Are you disabled? The politicians in there say they can help you find jobs. But no, they can't. We must take strong action Remember to end this the condition of both blatant and subtle discrimination. Young Senator Al Gore helped convince Democrats citizens. and Republicans to overwhelmingly pass the Americans with Disabilities Act. The point of the ADA was to get people with disabilities employed, and it's had absolutely the reverse effect. A reverse effect. When the law was passed, 51 percent of disabled people were in the workforce. But now it's just 33 percent. One reason is that the law makes employers see the disabled as a legal threat. If you fire a disabled person, he may sue you. In addition, politicians promised the ADA would force businesses to accommodate handicapped people. So the law includes hundreds of pages of detailed rules. Every new doorway must be 32 inches wide. Every mirror no more than 40 inches above the floor. If they aren't, Morse Merbon may sue you. He files hundreds of ADA lawsuits every year. What would you do, John, if you were in a wheelchair, you couldn't move your legs? Don't you want something to protect you, to protect your rights? But as usual, the politician's protection did nasty things. Now some businesses are sued by disabled people who have never even been in their stores. Drive-bys, the lawyers call them. A disabled person or scout working for them drives up and down the street looking for businesses that might not be compliant. Eric Wyatt was asked to do that. Eric got an email from his attorney. Go to the following 19 businesses, get 19 business cards or receipts, and I'll pay you $1,000. Just get a business card to prove he was there, and the lawyer would find a reason to sue. Eric said no, but he could have made thousands of dollars a day. About 19000 altogether. The disability rules are hundreds of pages, so most every business violates some rule. It could be that a mirror is an inch too high, uh, unsecured floor mats, round doorknobs. A round doorknob is illegal? It could subject you to a lawsuit. George Coles owns carpet and flooring stores in San Diego. His father was disabled and used a scooter to maneuver around the store. And we have a lot of disabled customers that never complained or anything, and we always felt we were in compliance. But if an attorney comes in and his or her motivation is to make money on non-compliance, I think they can be very creative. One person sued, claiming now, the store aisles were too narrow, narrow for his wheelchair, but they aren't. Clearance. So we decided, let's look in our security cameras. Well, lo and behold, we couldn't find him. He never was in the store. But the phony plaintiff's lawyer still demanded money. He would just go away for $14,000. So George paid, even though he had proof that the man was not in his store. In total, being sued cost him $100,000. They're faced with these claims that even when they're not true, they pay him anyway because it would cost them much more to win? It's as simple as that. We know of a number of defendants who spent $100,000, $200,000, $500,000 dealing with these cases. Clint Eastwood was one of them. Eastwood runs this hotel restaurant. He has a handicapped accessible bathroom, but a woman sued him because she claims she was directed to a regular bathroom. Eastwood is rich enough to say, go ahead, make my day. He fought back in court and won. Usually, business owners just pay the lawyer a few thousand dollars to go away. It's just extortion, but it's legal. It sure feels that way. It's an ugly, ugly process, but it works. You sue about all kinds of trivial stuff. Well, it's trivial to you because you're arrogant and you don't see the point of view of someone who you're is not... You're parasites. You're freeloading off productive people. If it wasn't for people like me, Thousands and thousands of businesses would not be compliant with the ADA right now. If you want to call it a racket, okay, it's a racket that's written into the legal system. This is yeah, yeah, it's legal extortion. Well, the entire legal system is driven by money. Yes, and by politicians who say, Yes, we can. Yes, we, yes, can. we can.